if you're new here, my name's Vicki and I'm glad you stopped by. Today I'm going to be sharing a recipe with you. This is a very simple recipe. It is for an upside down German chocolate cake. Today is my daddy's birthday. He's 78 years old, so wish him happy birthday down in the comments below. And he... I asked him what he wanted, what kind of cake or pie or dessert he wanted. And he said, German chocolate upside down cake, which I probably figured out because that's usually what he asked for. So I'm gonna show you all how to make it. It's really simple, but I thought you all might enjoy it. This can also be called earthquake cake because when it comes out of the oven, it sort of looks like an earthquake has happened. It's got cracks in it. So that's even a good thing. Anyway, what we're gonna need is a box of German chocolate cake mix, of course some powdered sugar, some sweetened coconut, some crushed pecans, some cream cheese, and a stick of butter. Now, the first thing we're gonna do is take a nine by 13 baking pan, and I'm gonna spray it really liberally. Then, we're going to line the bottom of the pan with sweetened coconut. And the recipe will be linked in the description box. To me, if you've never had this cake, I think it tastes like an Almond Joy bar. That's what I think it tastes like. But, you know, different people might think different things. But anyway, it's really good. Really, really good. Then we're gonna take some pecans. I'm gonna chop these up right quick. And we're gonna sprinkle our pecans all over it. It's just so good. And if you don't like pecans, you can do walnuts or you can leave them out. It's up to you, however you wanna do it. Then the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make our batter, our cake batter out of this box mix and just follow the directions on the back and then I'll show you what's next. I'm just gonna use my handheld mixer to mix it all up. Okay, now that we're done with mixing up our batter, I'm gonna take it and just pour it right over top of our coconut and our pecans. And you want to make sure you get every bit of that out. Okay. We're just going to use this same utensil, this same bowl, and we are going to beat our eight ounces of cream cheese first. And I did have this out for room temperature along with my butter. You wanna make sure it's done that way because it will work better for you. Won't have lumps and so forth, shouldn't anyway. Now we're gonna add now we're gonna add our stick of butter that's come to room temperature as well. And 
And then the next thing we're gonna add is two cups of confectionery sugar. This is a half size, so I need four of these. All right, I now have my cream cheese mixture and I'm gonna dollop it right on top of the German chocolate cake mix, just little dollops. Now, after we get all of it dolloped on, we're just gonna run our spatula through it just a little, just a little like this, a little like this, okay? Now, we're gonna put it in the oven on 350 for one hour, and then I'll meet you back here and show you what it looks like. Okay guys, I just now got it out of the oven. This is what it looks like. Now this is the reason that sometimes it's called an earthquake cake because it's got these like crevices and dips in it and that's perfectly okay. But we're gonna let it cool and then when we go to my dad's tonight, I will take a picture of what it looks like and I'll try to get a review from him if he'll let me. All right. Make sure if you like this video, you give it a thumbs up. I would love for you to subscribe to my channel if you haven't done that. I've had a lot of new subscribers lately and I appreciate each and every one of you all. God bless you and have a great week. Bye. I totally forgot to get a picture of the cake when I sliced it, but my dad absolutely loved it. I hope that you all make this. If you do, let me know.